We're at Central Station. In Glasgow. In Glasgow, yes. It's very, very nice. It is very nice. I mean, the Central Station's really nice. Yeah, I don't know, but the city. city's all right. It's not we as you yeah. only saw like a corner of it, but yeah. it's not as nice as Edinburgh. Yeah, Edinburgh was much more beautiful and story time over is uh so we... grady's phone stopped working completely wouldn't recognize any sim just a quick update i'm sure mm -hmm. no you uh, got it the sim cards couldn't be recognized we took it to vodafone we took it to samsung nothing could happen we put it to the side went saw barbie which i recommend yes and then this morning we went and bought a brand new phone not brand new but we went to a, there's a bunch of phone stores but we the one that was very reputable there's locations all over and i just bought a new you know or used new or used samsung s20 fe and he loves it more than his old phone i do like it more than my old phone so, so. we had to splurge but now we have yep. a phone that functions mm -hmm. and we're headed to newton stewart yes we'll stay the night in newton stewart and then tomorrow we meet our new host yeah and here's the station. Bustling city. Yes. It's beautiful. So many people. Yes. Yeah. So Onward. We're making moves. Nothing's gonna stop us from traveling. Right, baby? Yeah. yeah. Made it to air. We're in air, 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 air. And we're gonna be here for an hour, and then we go to the little town of Dravan. Dravan. Like we were on the train. Oh, we were on the train, and this couple came on behind us, and they were speaking English, but their Scottish accents were so strong, I could only get a word at a time. Like mm -hmm. she talked about her dog, and then she talked about the m money she had, but it, their accents. We're so strong. They're much stronger than Irish accents here. It's very difficult to understand them. <laughs> so when we get to Gardenstown, we're gonna have some problems. Yeah, it's gonna be definitely interesting. But no, it's a beautiful day out. The train is very leisurely, I'd say. Yes. Better than buses. It's I'm... very easy to get around. Like, I mean, yeah. the trains are quick. It's very fast. And you just buy a ticket, figure out your platform, go to the platform, jump on the train. And you got a nice little table and yeah, seats that are very nice. relaxing. Luggage and, compartment. Yeah, and so it's better than the buses, I would say. They're a little spendier, but the honestly, are, yeah, the, trains, are the trains from what I see online and like ticket costs, it's, it's a little bit more, but it's honestly kind of worth it. And they have Wi-Fi. Yes. So you can just... And the buses claim they have Wi-Fi, but a lot of time they don't. Yeah. And a lot of time the buses' uh, outlets don't work. Yeah, that's what we found. So the outlets work here, we're charging things, we have Wi-Fi so we can kind of plan the next step of the journey and catch up on things and you know vlog or whatever um, and it's a nice table so I can like, edit a little easier the videos but yeah things are going great we go to Gervin or Jervin or Jervan however you say it and then yeah. we uh, will go from there to Newton Stewart which is where our host is but we'll stay one night no hotel tonight and then tomorrow we can get our next host mm -hmm. yeah. so we'll be good and then we'll be there for a week mm -hmm. and then we have a week to get up to Gardenstown yeah so that's exciting. It was a rough couple days with like the phone problem. Phone problem the was lurch, really you know? ugh. That was tough because it's this hard. Is, this is my advice to all future travelers: is um, definitely plan what did we say twice as much money and half as much clothes. Yeah, right? twice as much money, half as much clothes. And pack light. Don't bring things that you have a sentimental attachment to. Yes. Like don't bring the jacket that your dad gave you, and don't bring the. Oh yeah, did that hit you? Get to <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean. And then don't bring that jacket that's your favorite. And don't bring the pair of socks that are your lucky socks or whatever. whatever like don't do that. Is. Don't but do also, that. Um, bring bare minimum. Go to a secondhand shop before you even leave. Go to a Goodwill. Buy a couple crappy clothes. 
or whatever you don't care about, so then you don't have anything. Around yeah. here, I mean, I don't. Maybe if you're going yeah. to like a really foreign country, they may not. Oh. You know, you know. But just buy a couple also, outfits that you don't care about. Come here, and then you can buy all hair. the clothes you want. I'll cut your hair. Cut your hair. Yes, get a haircut before you go. You can't carry that much shampoo with you. Mm-hmm. And so, and your hair washing. I wash mine like every three days now. Yeah. Be ready for unexpected problems to come up and recognize like it might throw a lot off track. Yeah. But don't let it get you down. Yeah. I wasn't having the greatest day yesterday since it seemed like the problem couldn't be resolved with the phone, but now I got a phone and it all works and it's great and I like it and it even has a better case and everything and I like it even more than the other one. So... That was an unexpected... Uh, yeah. Expense, but we needed it, you know. And honestly, the phone was cheaper than the one I bought back home. It was like 288 US dollars. It was like 200, and, what was it, 225 pounds, I think, or something. And then the case was actually cheaper than back home. The phone screen protector was cheaper than back home. So there's some things that are just like kind of cheaper a little bit. Food isn't that bad here, I'd say, for the Food most part. Is almost similar, but probably like 10 to. 10 to 15 dollars cheaper it's the tipping thing it's Again. all it comes back down to the tipping it always just, without it it's way cheaper yeah um, and then hotels are pretty much the same yeah maybe a little bit cheaper like we can get hostels for a hundred bucks a night for two people yeah but so, sometimes it's and a lot of the times we that. get the private room which is more than just a hostel with the bunks and the last couple nights when we stayed in Edinburgh I booked something that was cheap and I thought it'd be good. It was a lo decent location, but it was a, st a student housing, like, hostel thing. Terrible. So hot. So the uncomfortable. You step on the mattress and you touch the bed frame. Bork had the really bad one, too. I booked a Yugo hostel and it was, there's screaming people all night. So oh, it was the like drunk scr people. Drunk screaming people, construction, and so we didn't get a lot of sleep and that had a really bad mattress as well. And last night we got bunk beds. Yeah, and then but last night we slept a little bit better with the bunk beds and the mattresses weren't as bad. Uh -huh. And there, we were like fourth floor and there wasn't it wasn't that like, noisy. It wasn't. It was kind of a main street, but I don't know. Maybe we're kind of used to it now. The lull of traffic just kind of. Yeah. And it was chill. It was like not hot. Oh, the buildings humid. already in Scotland are way cooler than in Ireland. Ireland, everything mm -hmm. was so hot. I wonder if it's because they had such a cold winter, but or summer. Yeah. But but Edinburgh. We had that super hot. Oh, that was Edinburgh. Yeah, that was Edinburgh. We've, been, we've super traveled hot. so far in three, two days that yeah. I'm kind of mushing them all together. Right I know now. it's hard to keep it all straight. Because right Cork to Edinburgh, Edinburgh to Glasgow, and now Glasgow down to the yeah, sewer. We are right next to the ocean, though. We're right next to the, the uh, Atlantic Ocean again. I know. I wish I would have filmed some of it. It was beautiful, but, but it's we're okay. We're right next to it, and it's sunny. Mm -hmm. So we'll sit on the right side of the train this time. But yeah, that's uh, this is our trip so far, and we're getting around pretty good. We just have to go down to Gervan or whatever, and then jump on a bus, and then get to Newton Stewart, and we have a nice hotel waiting for us there. So I have a bunch of editing to do. I'm still so behind. I'm very behind too. I'm so behind on it's everything. It's hard when you're traveling in spurts. You can't really like have time to sit down and yeah. get something done because like the train right here was what maybe 45 minutes, if that. So, um, it was quick, you can see. By the time you got your stuff out, the train was already docking. Yeah. Now we're the only ones here. We're the only ones, look it. I kind of like it though. We're all alone. But yeah, the trip's going well so far, especially getting a new phone is always kind of nice. New phone, new me. You're in a bad mood watch party. Mm -hmm. The Barbie movie's movie. red. It's good. It's a trip, but it's fun. So. Don't take it too seriously. 